Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Monday, May 27, 2024. I pray that you are all doing well today and I pray that as you go throughout the day that you will go with God. May you depend on him for guidance and may you seek his face as he seek to draw you nearer to him. Our reading today comes to us from Ecclesiastes chapter 1, reading from verse 4 to 8. And it says, One generation passeth away, and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. The sun also ariseth, and the sun goeth down, and hasteneth to his place where he arose. The wind goeth towards the south, and turneth about unto the north. It whirleth about, continually and the wind returneth again according to its circuits all the rivers run into the sea yet the sea is not full unto the place from whence the rivers come thither they return again all things are full of labor man cannot utter it the eye is not satisfied with seeing nor the ear filled with hearing amen the reading this morning basically telling us that life is a cycle. As it says that when one generation pass away, another generation comes up after them. And also the fact that the sun, it rises in one direction and it goes down to another. So the sun doesn't decide that, okay, I'm not going to rise from this direction this morning. I'm going to go a completely different direction. It followed the same sequence every day because God had set it up that way. And so what we can learn from that is that there is a law that govern how things are operate, even in nature. And everything that God has created, they are guided by this law. And even as it speaks to the fact that no generation will last forever so we understand that we are temporary that death one day will come for us and where death find us that's the important thing will death find you in a state of readiness to meet your maker will death find you live a righteous life have you lived a fulfilled life have you lived a profitable life can you say like the Apostle Paul, I have fought a good fight and I have run the race. Have you remained faithful in your life? Because the fact that you won't live forever, I won't live forever. It therefore means that the legacy that we leave must be one that will benefit not only us, but those who we left behind. And so our life must be one that influence others in a positive way a righteous way and a godly way amen and even as it speaks about the rivers running into the sea have you ever thought about that i've never really given it much thought but from what i have understand and from what i have read and studied is that all rivers eventually run into the sea and those same rivers that run into the sea the sea then spit them back out so the river run into the sea then the sea run and then become river isn't that amazing that is why you can go on an island where there is no river in a manner of speaking and you can find fresh water water you can pump from the earth where do you think that water is coming from it is coming from the ocean god amazingly orchestrate it in such a way that the seawater somehow find its way up through the earth and it remain there and so when you dig a well you are able to find water that's how amazing god is and so life is a constant cycle right so it may seem like it's different and the river is somehow different from the sea yes it's called a river right because remember this you know when god created this world and when he was creating the waters what he said that he created one water and then he divided the water 
is not what Genesis said. So, the river and the sea are connected. Life is a cycle. When you die, where do you go? You go back to the earth from which you came. Life is a cycle. Isn't God amazing? Wow. And so when you think about life, it is full of labor. What do I mean by it is full of labor? The river cannot decide that it's not going to run today. It is constantly running, constantly working. The same goes for the ocean. The wind don't decide that it's not going to blow today. The sun, the same, unless the weather changes. Do you see my drift? And in fact, even if the weather changes, you know that the sun is still there. It's just that the clouds are hiding the sun. But the sun rises every day. The moon come up every night. Even when there's a storm and you can't see no sun in the sky, the sun is still there. But because of the thickness of the cloud, you are not able to see the sun. That's how amazing God is. And so, let us give God the praise that is due to his name because he's a marvelous God. He is the God of creation and he's a God that deserves all our adoration. May God continue to bless us and keep us in Jesus' name. Amen.